Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, in this video I wanted to talk about this little guy and how I use it and how I get apps on it. For beginners and people that just got the device, I think this video will be a lot helpful. I really like this tiny device and its capabilities and how you can transform it from hacking tool to a music player and even play games on it. So. Let me show you how I get apps on the device and how I get apps on the device now after using it for a long time. So in the beginning I was getting apps on it uh, by connecting it to a computer. In this case, please don't mind the tape. Uh, the screen is broken and I held it with tape until the replacement arrives, so ignore it. Again, I was able to get apps by downloading the burner tool from M5 stack site and connect the card computer uh, to the computer. Once you get it connected, you can simply browse through all the available apps, select what you need and install it. Now, for example, let's say I will install Doom. It's quite simple process. You just uh, click download on the app. Once it's downloaded, click burn and the app will be installed on your uh, card computer. As you can see now I'm doing it and the process is quite short. It will take less than a minute to get it uploaded. Once the app is successfully installed, as you can see, it will uh, automatically run on the card computer. And there you have it, you have Doom on your tiny card computer. Now I can unplug it and play the game. But the cool part about this device is that it can do a lot more. And now if I want to get another app, I have to again connect it to my PC and install it. And by doing it, I'll lose the previous app I already had installed. And this is a bit inconvenient. And this is where the star of the video comes in. This is the one app you ever need for this card computer. I'm really thankful to the smart people that made this app available, as it made my life much more easier. Because now with it, I don't need to connect the card computer with a PC when I'm getting a new app or when I'm switching between apps. Just remember that you will need uh, an SD card to make it work. Now with the app running, let me show you what it can do. In the first option of the menu, you can run any app that you have already downloaded on the SD card. And with the second option of the menu, you can simply download any app you might need for the card computer. And you can do that by directly connecting the card computer uh, to the internet by Wi-Fi. Now, if you look closely, you can see that I have access to all the apps that were present in the burner tool on the PC. So I can download any of them without the need of PC. I'll just download now a few apps so I can show you how it actually works. Now with the apps downloaded, I can go to the SD card and I can access them in the download folder. And in the folder, I can see all the apps I have downloaded. Now I can select the app I need and install it. Installation is quite easy and it doesn't take much time. Once the installation is complete, the app will launch. Now I have Winamp on the card computer. Even if now I decide to turn off or reboot the card computer, the last install app will launch automatically. Let's say now I need to try another app. I can do that by rebooting or turning off and on the card computer. And when the device is booting, I need to hit any key on the keyboard. And that will get me back to the launcher app. If 
From there, I go back to the SD card, uh, open the downloads folder, and then select the app I need to install. And now I'm already running Bruce on the computer without the need of PC. And this is how now I download apps to my computer by using the launcher app. And that's it guys. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you find something useful in it. And please don't forget to thank the people that created the app because it really makes a lot of difference. See you in the next one. Thank you.